This is getting started with GPT-3 via OpenAI. This is as simple as it gets. So first you go here to the openai.com website where you are going to click on API. When you click on that, it's going to take you to this login screen where you will type in your own email address to sign in if you have an account. If you don't, you will follow the sign up. And personally, I like to use email and password signups, but you know what? If you wanna sign in with Google or Microsoft, do that. Once you have an account, you're going to find yourself on this page. When you get to this page, there are tutorials, examples, and all those things, but there is one thing I want you to do first. I want you to go to personal, I want you to click view API keys, and I want you to make a key if one does not already exist, and you're going to need that. Keep it secret, okay? Keep it secret, it's your key, it's not someone else's key, so just copy it off, keep it secret, and we're going to use that later. But you might be asking yourself, but Kent, how do I use GPT-3? Just click playground. The playground here is a great place to have a little fun. How do I use GPT-3? And we just do that and we click submit and I just used GPT-3. Just that's all there is to it. I really just want to get you empowered to play. They call it a playground for a reason. Play, you're not gonna hurt yourself. Put stuff in here, click submit, learn, mess with stuff, watch videos on YouTube. That is it and that is the end of this video. You are now empowered to use GPT-3. I'm gonna show you next, in the next video, how one of the ways I like to use it with a tool called Roam Research. See you there.